Hi, I'm Morag from Our Permaculture Life. One of the things I love about my garden is that it's a garden full of teas. And at the moment, one of the things that's really in abundance is the rosella. Now, rosella, I talked about in a previous film about how to grow it and how to harvest it. Today, I want to show you how I make a simple tea out of the rosellas. So firstly, what you need to do is actually take out the seed pod that's inside. And the simplest way that I found by doing that, to do that, is just to slice off the bottom and then unwrap this red section from around the outside. So you just gently slice off the bottom and then unwrap. And this is the bit that you make the tea out of. This section here, um, inside is actually where the seeds are. And if you allow these to dry on the, on the bush itself, and then you can grind them into a flower. That's edible too, but we'll talk about that another time. So in order to get enough uh, for a cup of tea, about four or five of these would be perfect. So I'll just do that. One of my favorite blends of teas with the rosella um, are the ginger and the lemon myrtle. So the, the rosella is high in vitamin C and has a really lovely fruity tangy flavour. The lemon is really great for helping to, to clear your throat and a, a lovely citrusy flavour. And the ginger is um, excellent for helping to um, fight colds but also give it that extra zing. So this blend of the rosella, the ginger and the lemon myrtle <coughs> is one of my favourites, particularly if I've been teaching all weekend and my, my throat's a bit sore like it is today. So I'm going to put all of these into a plunger or a teapot and then just cover it over with some boiling water. And the, the colour and the scent and the flavour is just incredible. So I'm going to let that steep for a few minutes and you'll see it come out with some beautiful red colour. And um, you can sweeten it with honey if you like, but I just like it absolutely straight like that. Another thing I really like to do with my rosellas um, is dry them so that I have them as a tea for a really long time. So I have a stacked uh, dryer that I use, but mostly I like to dry them in the sun. So I put them in these trays, collect them, fill them up as much as I can, keep them out in the sun until they've dried. But at the moment it's still quite humid where I am. So just to the last bit I use the electric dryer just to take that extra bit of moisture out. And that way I can store them for the rest of the year and have beautiful rosella tea whenever I need it. So I'm just going to plunge my tea. Look at that a beautiful colour. Morning tea. Ah, that's delicious. Oh, it feels so good in my throat too. Thanks for watching again. It's Maura Gamble from Our Permaculture Life. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week for some more permaculture living.